guys, what's up? It's me, Toss. Today, we are here with Game Theory. This just got up a little today. It's titled, How Deadly is Mario's Blue Shell? Hmm. Looks like it's the Mario Kart, and we all know how we hate that thing when we're in the first place. It comes straight towards us, no questions asked. <laughs> Unless you have the, you know, arrow thing. You're pretty much getting hit. That explosion. Oof. Deadly. Uh, I'm not sure how deadly really it is, but, I mean, if you get hit by it, sure, you're fine, but if it blows up, you're pretty much done for. <laughs> anyway, might as well see what's going on. I'll link this down below, you guys know the drill, so away we go. Internet, welcome to Game Theory, where the closest to failing a test I've ever come was my driver's test. It's a no joke, by the way. I was one point away from failing my driver's test. In Ohio, we have this stupid thing called the maneuverability test, which tests zero real life skills. And if the instructor had noticed that I actually did touch the cone rather than being just really close to it, I totally would have failed, but haha. -ha. But seriously, just give us a parallel parking challenge. It would have saved me so much embarrassment during my first six years out in LA until I finally forced myself to learn how to do it the old-fashioned way going to a school parking lot on a weekend and setting up some codes a fully functioning adult teaching himself essential driving skills that he should have learned when he was 16 year old but enough about me and my frustrations with parallel parking let's talk Mario Kart hey, Mortal theorists might remember last year when I determined that Mario Kart 8 was Mario's deadliest game for those of you who haven't seen the video and are just too lazy to click on the I card I calculated that the in-game collection collisions are as powerful as 2,000 times the force of gravity. And these collisions are happening multiple times every game. The TLDR of that episode, racers in Mario Kart are more dead than the Ugandan Knuckles meme. But, that, oh dear yeah. viewers, these high-speed collisions are simply the beginning. It gets yeah, so, so much worse. So today, we rise to the occasion and calculate the lethality of Mario Kart's most feared and most deadly weapon. No Reggie, not the, not the Blooper. I'm talking about the blue shell, yep. the victory slayer, the great equalizer, which, once used, soars to the racer in first place, circles around him like a vulture circling its prey, and then dives down. Stopping them dead in their tracks as the shell explodes into a fiery inferno. So just how deadly is this weapon of mass cart destruction? Let's crack open our physics textbooks to find out. The well, I mean, considering that things cause an explosion, that's gotta be a lot. And seeing the explosion, I'm not surprised those spikes on the top aren't, you know, shooting out everywhere. Huh. Eh, maybe next time. <laughs> Honestly... So I think that would make things a lot worse. Like, you can affect others around you, too. Oof. Again, I really hate to face that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Moving on. Let's just see how deadly it is. In determining the force of the blue shell lies with momentum. Now, momentum is the measurement of the motion of an object, and it's calculated by multiplying the mass of the object by its velocity. A light mass moving at slow speeds isn't going to have that much momentum. A light mass moving at a faster speed is slightly more momentum, and a heavy mass moving at fast speeds is gonna have the most momentum. It's like me when I'm bowling. Now, this may come as a surprise to you, but I'm fairly weak, so I can choose to throw a light 8-pound ball quickly, like all the 10-year-olds who are bowling next to me, or a heavier 16-pound ball slowly. Both of those are gonna yield roughly same amount of momentum and accordingly knock down about the same number of pins, usually around 7. Were I to throw the heavy ball faster, theoretically I'd be able to knock down more I'd have more momentum, except my aim sucks, so I'd just end up in the gutter. Or in the alley next to me, which has happened more than once. And if you're wondering why momentum in this equation is written with variable P, I honestly don't know. Probably just trying to put the P back into AP physics. Additionally, we need to take a look at one more physics concept here. Impulse. Impulse is a measurement of the total momentum transferred by an action, and it's calculated by multiplying force times time. So say I'm playing home run contest in Super Smash, and I have two sandbags. I'm Ganondorf, and I punch the first one for two seconds with a force of 100 newtons. Then I switch my character 
character over to Captain Falcon and punch the second one for one second with a force of 200 newtons. Although I punched the two bags with two different forces for two different amounts of time, both of those actions would have had the same amount of impulse. Therefore, it would be expected that the sandbags would fly the same distance. And if you're wondering why impulse here is written with the variable J, I honestly don't know that either. Probably trying to put the J back into cool. physics is just too complicated for its own good the J in there. It's a very important letter. Now, if we can calculate the change in momentum caused by the blue shell, we'll be able to find its destructive forces. Change in momentum is equal to the momentum before the shell hits you, minus the momentum after it hits you. The momentum of the shell after it hits you is simply zero. You are no longer moving, so no matter what your mass is, your momentum is gonna be zero. That is how the blue shell works. It is easy. Finding the momentum before the shell slams into you, though, is gonna be a bit more difficult. Now, in my last Mario Kart video, I determined that one of the fastest characters combinations was Dry Bowser in the B-Dasher with slick wheels and a super glider. I found that at max speed, Dry Bowser can travel 180 kilometers per hour or 50 meters per second. For my fellow Americans, that translates to over 110 miles per hour. These races are far from light joy rides through Toad Harbor. They are extreme! If you want to know how I found all that, the math is in the video hiding in that I card in the upper right hand corner of the screen. The teaser tag should be popping out right now. Now what is so damn funny? So we know his speed, but now we gotta determine his mass. In Mario Kart 8, the game uses a system of hidden statistics to define a character's given attributes. Acceleration, on-road traction, off-road traction, and of course, weight. And I was able to track down a chart of these hidden stats. Dry Bowser is listed as having a mass of 9. That's the good news. The bad news is that that 9 is unitless. So we have no what that 9 actually translates to. However, I just so happen to have an ace up my sleeve. And that is the ace of Mario Jumpman Mario. It's a very weird deck of cards I'm using. In Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Mario is listed as having a weight of six units. Now, in a past video by my fellow game theorist Austin, he used Mario yeah. Sunshine's water propulsion to calculate Mario's weight at just under 90 kilograms or about 198 pounds. But, uh, in all honesty, I don't trust Austin. He shouts too much. Hey! I'm offended! Plus, this is my <laughs> show does. on my channel, and I don't want to give him the sole glory of calculating Mario's weight so I found another way to verify that number. If Mario is indeed 89.4 kilograms like Austin says he is, and in Mario Kart, Mario is the equivalent of six units of weight, then one weight unit is gonna be about 15 kilograms. Find that, let's look at the carts. In Mario Kart, the standard cart is listed as weighing two units. The standard wheels weigh in at two units as well, and the super glider weighs in at one unit. At Together and you get your basic cart weighing in at 5 in-game units. 5 times 15 gives us 75 kilograms. And just how much does a standard go-kart weigh in real life? Wouldn't you know it, 75 kilograms! It's almost wow. like Nintendo planned it this way! Maybe they've known Mario's weight from the beginning, but no! No, there's no way! Right, Reggie? Reggie Fisame, everybody, uh. president of Nintendo of North America. Reggie, tell me, there's no way that Nintendo knew what Mario's weight actually was, right? What's wrong with you? A lot of things, Reggie, but uh. we're not here to talk about me and my problems. Seriously, though, <laughs> if only you guys put as much thought into the Zelda timeline. Not uh. my problem. Where are my donuts? Way to pass the blame there, buddy. Anyway, between... <laughs> Jeez, yeah, that's kind of hard. Yeah, they seem to focus more on Mario than Zelda, don't they? I mean, you can get a confirmed weight and hype with Mario you can get you can't really figure out the timeline for Zelda. Like I feel like that's gonna be a running joke for this, you know? Mm. And you scientific evidence in Mario Sunshine and the mathematical evidence in Mario Kart, that's all the proof I need. By the power vested in me by 10 million subscribers who enjoy watching my analytical theories here on YouTube, I officially certify Mario's weight to be 90 kilograms. 89.94 kilograms to be exact, but 90 kilograms. So with Mario's height and weight certified, we have now created a standardized system of weights and measures that can be used across the entirety of the Mario universe. It's a lot like the metric system but a lot, and I mean a lot nerdier. It also means that we can finally determine Dry Bowser's mass to calculate the impact force of the blue shell. So Dry Bowser weighs 9 units, the B Dasher weighs 3 units, the Slick Wheels weigh 3 units, and the Super Glider weighs 1 unit. Add all of that up and Dry Bowser in his fastest cart combination weighs 16 total units, with each Damn. unit representing 14.99 kilograms. 
determined that the mass of dry Bowser in his cart is gonna be 239.84 kilograms. Now, remember that momentum, the P in AP physics, is equal to speed times mass. Therefore, the 240 kilogram dry Bowser traveling at a speed of 50 meters per second would have a momentum of 11,992 newton seconds. But again, that's yeah. just dry Bowser. We're here to calculate the devastating power of the blue shell, yeah, which is able to stop that amount of momentum instantaneously. And that means that we're gonna need to know the blue shell's impulse. As I mentioned before, impulse is a force applied over a period of time. So it equals F times T. It also equals the change in momentum, which we just established. The change in momentum the blue shell causes is 11,992 newton seconds. So if we want to know the destructive force that the blue shell's delivering in that moment of impact, all we need to do is eliminate time from this equation. Lucky for us, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe runs at a silky smooth 60 frames frames per second, and it takes 33 frames for a blue shell to bring you to a complete stop. So divide those 33 frames by the 60 frames per second and the time is calculated out to be 0.55 seconds. F times 0.55 equals 11,992, divide both sides by 0.55 and we get that the blue shell would need a force of 21,803 newtons to stop the speeding dry Bowser. But it gets even more forceful than that, because you see, oh that 22,000 newtons would only apply if the blue shell is hitting its victims from head on. The blue shell takes it one step further by flying over you and then diving into your face at an alarmingly steep 60 angle. So using trigonometry, I found that blue shells would require double the amount of force we just calculated. 43,670 newtons flying right at a racer's cranium in order Jesus to stop Christ. them and their cart dead in their tracks. Compare that number to the Bullet Bill episode where I found that Bullet Bills have a force of 2,570 newtons. This is 20 times that amount of force, making the blue shell the deadliest quote-unquote bullet in the Mushroom Kingdom. In last year's Mario Kart episode, I found that in a worst-case scenario, some impacts reach 2,000 Gs, while the blue That's shell doubles times. that to a force of nearly 4,000 Gs. In other Ouch. words, why try competing to be the lead in this race when you can just kill off the player who is in first with your blue shell? Because that is exactly what's happening here. It's like sending the most family-friendly hitman to bump off someone who, sorry, was simply better at you in a stupid party racing oh. video game. And I'm still not yes. done because as any player who's in second place knows, it's not the impact gets ya, it's the explosion around the impact. Using yeah, more pixel measurements, I was able to calculate that the maximum blast radius of the blue shell explosion is 3.1 meters. Now, there's a handy dandy formula called Broad's method that we can use to determine the energy oh, of this yeah. explosion. I've mentioned it before during the How Deadly is the bob episode, but since yeah. it's a lot more math, I'm just gonna speed things up here. The first variable in this equation of death is pressure. Pressure is equal to force divided by area. As calculated earlier, the head-on force required to stop dry bowser at max speed is 21,803 newtons. Unlike with the blue shell, the explosion force is gonna be head-on and not in an angle. Using pixel measurements and Mario as our newly certified ruler, I found that Dry Bowser has a cross section of 1.87 square meters when he's racing. Therefore, the pressure of the blast would have to be 21,803 newtons divided by 1.87 meters squared or 11,616 pascals. The pressure of the outside environment would simply be one atmosphere, which can be translated to 101,325 pascals. The volume is also easy to find because all you need to do is determine the volume of a hemisphere with a radius of 3.1 meters. The formula there is two thirds times pi times r cubed, which calculates out a volume of 62.39 cubic meters. The final variable that's needed is the heat capacity ratio started, of air, which is 1.4. And just like that, we found all the variables needed to calculate out the energy of the blue shell explosion. After solving the equation, I found that the blue shell explosion has an energy of 17,617 kilojoules. For comparison, that is the same amount of energy found in 4 kilograms of TNT. Loyal theorists might remember the United Nations Explosion Consequence Analysis website from the Babam episode. With an equivalent of 4 kilograms of TNT, Anyone within 15 meters of that detonation is gonna expect a ruptured eardrum. Anyone within 5.9 meters is gonna be suffering from severe lung damage. And most dangerously of all, anyone within 3.5 meters of that explosion are just gonna be flat out dead. D-E-D-D. -E -D -D. Dead. Thanks to Blue Shell's Mount Wario would be covered in police tape. Huge craters would start appearing in Toad Harbor. The TSA won't let me bring hand cream onto flights, but Mario and friends are able to bring the equivalent of 4 kilograms of TNT into Sunshine Airport without raising any red flags. You better hope that you're racing with insurance, friends. And I'm not talking car insurance. I am talking life insurance. Because... 
games are deadly. deadly. So there you have it. Blue Pretty shells nice. are practically heat-seeking missiles designed as a turtle shell. The shells will Pretty absolutely much. kill the first place driver upon impact, as well as anyone within a 3.5 radius around them. They're all dead. The Mushroom Kingdom is slowly killing off all of its best, most skilled drivers. Leave it up to Nintendo to violate the Geneva Conventions with a game that's rated E for everyone. So the next time that you pick up a blue and shell in a mystery discovery. box, take a moment to comprehend the sheer amount of power that Pretty you're bad. holding. If you're in first place and receive the indication that the blue shell's approaching, take those final seconds and make peace with your maker. I hope those two and a half laps in first were worth it, because the true winners of Mario Kart are the survivors, the ones who stay smack dab in the middle. Basically, yeah. the Mushroom Kingdom is self-selecting for the most mediocre drivers of the bunch, like me and my driver's test. The brakes! Uh, hit the brakes! Uh, but hey, that's <laughs> just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. No problem. Jeez, that's a lot of... That's a lot of explosive power, you know? Yeesh. We, I'm just really glad that thing ain't real life. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. So